Come on, people, we're falling behind schedule. Bunch of lazy bums. You should really wear a safety helmet on the job, sir. Shut it, Parker. Jim, wake up, you good for nothing layabout. What? Uh, 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 sorry, boss. Uh, sir, can you take a look at this? What is it? What? What's going on with the comm system now? Looks like something's jamming our signals. Shut it, Jim. Go grab a shovel and get back to work. Jim is right, sir. There's some kind of interference. Interference? Looks to me like it's another one of your technical mishaps. Get it together, Thompson, or you're out of here. Uh, yes, sir. Something's not right. Relax, Parker. It's probably just seismic activity. This asteroid isn't entirely stable. Sir, look at this. What now? What the? Thompson, what did I tell you about playing computer games on company hardware? This isn't a game, sir. It's... Nothing to worry about. It's probably just another shipment from the government. I don't see anything on our docking registry. I'm not picking up any government signals. This... something isn't right. It's that blaster! What was that? That thing just shot at us! That's not a government tanker! That's an alien warship! Nonsense! There are no such thing as aliens! It was probably just another burst geyser in the main pipeline. I'll have Harry take a look at it after lunch. Now get back to work! Send out a call for help! Activate the destruction and attack it through the base! We can't get a signal out! We're completely cut off! Then forget it! We need to evacuate! Get to the escape pods now! Gentlemen, we find ourselves in a dire situation. Our galaxy is facing an unprecedented threat from an unknown alien race. Oh, alien race? What do we know about them, Admiral? Very little, I'm afraid. They appeared suddenly, launching coordinated attacks on our mining operations and military outposts. At 0600 hours local time, an unidentified spacecraft emerged from subspace and annihilated a mining colony on the Outer Rim. Less than an hour ago, another one appeared near the Stellar Nexus and obliterated the factories on Dominion. This is an act of aggression! We must respond with force! I disagree. This may be nothing more than a misunderstanding. We should first explore diplomatic channels, establish communication, and seek a peaceful resolution, if possible. Nonsense! The only language these aliens understand is violence! They possess technology beyond anything we've ever seen. Does our military possess the firepower to handle such a threat? You are all I can make children. Remember, first contact with any extraterrestrial species is a volatile and exciting time, but it is rarely without benefits. This crisis presents unique opportunities for trade, alliances, and, uh, lucrative deals. We must not act hastily. And let us not forget our tradition of neutrality. Rushing into war without a full scope of the situation is perilous. We could jeopardize the lives of even more of our citizens. If we don't respond with force, then we're guaranteed to jeopardize more lives. We must give peace a chance. We could be misinterpreting their intentions. Oh, yes. Let's all get together for one big happy group hug. I'm sure that That'll solve all of our problems! Order, please. Each of you has valid concerns, but we must find a consensus. I have a proposal. Just what we need. New gizmos from the Egghead Division. Please, let us not descend into chaos. We have limited time. Dr. Stanton, the floor is yours. I propose this council grants our science division immediate emergency authorization to manufacture an army. What? The Brainiacs want to build an army? Shut it, you lot. Let's hear what he has to say. What's this about building an army, Dr. Stanton? As I've mentioned in prior meetings, our increasing presence throughout the galaxy puts us in ever greater peril. We simply do not know what lies in the darkest reaches of space. Creating a super soldier army through cyborg technology is our best hope, not only for exploration, 
but also for protection. We've been over this before, Doctor. The ethical concerns surrounding the creation of a cyborg army are too great. Now hold on a minute, Admiral. I happen to agree with the Doctor for once. We cannot authorize this. The fusion of biology and technology is forbidden under the Code of Ethics. Subsection 42B. Admiral! This is a closed meeting, soldier. What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, sir, but there's been another attack. What? <laughs> We've just received a report from the Enclave. This time they've wiped out Archipelago. Which planet? All of them, sir. All of them. Impossible. Do you mean to tell me those alien snot rags annihilated an entire solar system? Yes, sir. Transmitting the footage to your monitors now. We can't wait any longer. We must act now. He's right. I'm with the Egghead. Creating a cyborg army could be our best chance at defending ourselves. We cannot wait for diplomacy to fail. I agree. Time is of the essence. Very well. But we need safeguards. Oversight. Agreed. We'll ensure strict controls. Doctor, how quickly can you have new soldiers in production? We can have our first batch of soldiers combat ready within a week. A week is a long time, but it may be our only hope. All in favor of the emergency creation of a cyborg army. Then it's settled. Dr. Stanton and his team will oversee the production of our new cyborg army. Once they're combat ready, the military will take command of the situation. The fate of our galaxy rests on this decision. And so I tells the guy, I ain't in the market for no computer. And then he says, get this, he says, everyone's in the market for a computer nowadays. Can you believe that? The never that guy. Some people, man, I tell you. Keep your eyes peeled, you two. We can't afford any surprises. Yes, yes sir. sir. Who put him in charge anyway? Dr. Stanton. Since when do the pencil pushers give us orders? Since the invasion started. I can't believe they got us standing out here guarding this stupid door. Talk about a waste of resources. I hear that. We're running out of time. I know that, Benjamin. It's been almost a full week and we've only got half a cyborg finished. I know. Between your complaining and all these technical malfunctions, I'm surprised we managed to make any progress at all. Man, my legs are starting to cramp. You don't really believe any of that stuff about aliens, do you? I'm an alien. No, right, I know that, but I mean like other aliens, you know, evil aliens. What's that? Security alarm. There's been a perimeter breach. What does that mean? Sir, we've got movement outside. You know what I wish? <sighs> what? I wish there was some kind of coalition of pyramid schemes. What? Yeah, I'd like to get in on the bottom of a bunch of them. I could be making like a hundred grand a month. <sighs> Look alive, you two. We got incoming. Finally, some action. By the divine will of Australia, we will cleanse the cosmos of the impure. Your God's conquest is not mine! 
I will never help you! Very well. You then, I am Divine Commander Kordak, servant of the mighty Israelion, the god of conquest. We are the harbingers of his cosmic reign. Our destiny is written in the stars. You will aid us with your science. Yes. I'll do whatever you want. Your life banishes the darkness. Prepare yourselves, my brothers. The divine transformation begins. <laughs> Are we dead? I wish. You can't be serious! I'm afraid I am, sir. What am I even looking at? It's a... It's a half-finished cyborg, sir. Half-finished? Yes, sir. It's all we were able to complete before the facility was attacked. What good is a half-finished cyborg? What? He's awake! Jim? Jim, can you hear me? Yes, but... Where am I? Take a deep breath, Jim. You're alive. How? Do you remember anything? Uh, something about a government tanker or a first geyser in the main pipeline? That was no government tanker, Jim. It was an alien warship. Their fleet wiped out the entire mining operation. How am I still alive? We recovered the wreckage of your ship drifting through a debris field on the outer rim. We found you inside. We thought you were dead. We had to do something drastic to save your life. This was a last resort, Jim. The aliens left us no choice. Your body, it was beyond repair. How am I alive? We used an experimental procedure. Your biological systems were failing, and we had to integrate cybernetics to keep you alive. Are you saying I'm a robot? No, I'm saying you're a cyborg. A cyborg? Well, half a cyborg. What does that even mean? The aliens invaded the cyborg facility before the eggheads could finish you. So what about me? I have access to a similar laboratory here in the Enclave, as well as full schematics for the cyborg designs. We can use them to finish upgrading you, but it will take time. You... Turn me into a monster? A cyborg. Half a cyborg. You had no right! Why didn't you just let me die? I'm not a soldier, I'm a miner! I never asked for any of this! Jim, your life was slipping away. We had seconds to make a decision. You should have let me die! Your life wasn't just your decision to make, Jim. You saw those aliens firsthand. You know what they're capable of. We need you. Need me? For what? Jim, the aliens have the cyborg facility now. They're using it to make themselves even stronger. You're our only hope to counter their enhanced forces. I can't fight them. I already told you. I'm not a soldier. We're not asking you to be a soldier. We're asking you to be a hero. The entire galaxy is depending on you. A hero? No, I can't be a hero. Maybe you're right. I saw what those aliens did to the colony. I can't just stand by. That's the spirit. But if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to fight those things, I need more. More upgrades. More enhancements. If I'm going to fight them, I need more firepower. We have some of the best and brightest minds working on it. You'll have whatever you need. Good. But just remember one thing. I'm not doing this for you or the military. I'm doing it for all those miners on the colony who didn't make it. They deserve justice. in as close as you can. General, don't make me repeat myself, Connor. But you're the head of the military. We can't risk losing you. Put this bird on the ground now, pilot. That's an order. Yes, sir. Are you sure about this, sir? I'm sure. My place is down there with you lot. Boots on the ground, shoulder to shoulder, fighting on the front lines. That's exactly where I belong. But sir, if you die, haven't you heard? I'm invincible. Very funny, sir. That wasn't a joke, Weston. Now let's show those alien snot rags who they're messing with. Hoorah! Saving your sorry butts. Now grab some ammo and follow me. They're coming over the hill. Left flank. Left flank. There must be 
more of them than there are stars in the sky. What was that? Is that... a half-finished cyborg? I heard you were having a blast. Mind if I join the party? supposed to be what in the galaxy is going on here my name is jim i've been assigned a top secret mission to destroy the alien invaders where are the others what others the other cyborgs command sent to fight the aliens preferably fully completed cyborgs i'm the only one what does that mean the aliens took control of the cyborg facility before they could complete production i'm the only one and how exactly are you supposed to stop them you don't seem fully equipped for this. I've been given coordinates to a facility that contains the materials needed to complete my enhancements. I must reach it before the aliens complete their own transformations into cyborg warriors. All right. If that's true, then you're the best hope we've got. I'm going with you. Where is this facility? Not far. The facility is on this planet? Why do you think the aliens came here? We're coming too! Who are you? Future Star Captain Orion Rubix at your service! And this is my good buddy Bear! He's a monkey. I'm a gorilla. Right, but his name is Bear. <sighs> yep. I don't recognize you two. Were you stationed on this outpost? No, sir. We were stationed back at the old cyborg facility. The one where they built you, I think. Impossible. No one survived that attack. We did. That's right. We snuck aboard one of the alien spaceships and hid out in the cargo hold. That's how we ended up here. Hang on a second. You infiltrated one of their starships undetected? And survived a full-blown assault on the factory? How is that possible? What's your rank? A rank? We're, uh, well, we're... We're security guards. Excuse me? We guard the door. You're... you... you're not even soldiers! Well, not technically. Not technically, not at all! The grunts we hire to guard the doors are all contractors. You, you're Renacops! We prefer the term aspiring heroes. Just don't call us late for dinner. Shut up, Bear. Why do you want to help us? Why? What do you mean, why? You've seen those things, haven't you? We sure did, isn't that right, Bear? We saw them in action. We know how dangerous they are. And we know they gotta be stopped. Besides, Space General Corvax or whatever he's called almost crushed my face with a giant metal door. I gotta get me some payback. All right, you're in. What? These two have now survived two battles with those aliens and managed to sneak aboard one of their starships. Something no one else has done. They're glorified mall cops. Hey, come on, man. We're standing right here. I don't care if they're a couple of circus clowns. I want them on my team. Besides, we need all the help we can get. Fine, but I've got my eye on you two. We won't let you down, sir. Good, then let's move out. We've got to find that facility before more of those aliens show up. Future Star Captain, huh? That's right. You a pilot? Well, not yet, but I will be. You train at the Academy? Nah, they keep denying my application, but you know what they say. Nine times the charm. I thought this was your tenth time. Shut up, Bear. This mission is going to Mars. I'm stuck in here with a half-finished cyborg, a talking bear, and a bumbling starship reject. Oh, Bear! <sighs> What? Did you know that the galactic record for the largest pancake ever made was 210 feet in diameter? Imagine the size of the spatula they used! Huh. We're getting close to the machine shop. Stay sharp. If anything moves, vaporize it. Looks like the coast is clear. I'll go first. Jupiter, what? What's that? Defense matrix. Whoever set up this facility must never have deactivated them. We're not getting through that without a plan. I've seen these in Hollow games. Rubik's not now. No, really. We can shut it down by disabling the power source. It's probably somewhere deeper in the facility. This isn't a game, Captain Stardust. No, Rubik's is right. We have to locate the power source and shut it down. Oh, great. Any idea where that might be? Accessing facility schematics. It's there. Level 3, down the south corridor, just past the experimental facility. Zap Blaster. Is that bad? I just remembered something about this outpost. 
The eggheads in this division were working on some kind of bioweapons. The facility was abandoned after a viral outbreak. Is he saying what I think he's saying? Zombies. Space zombies. That's right. That explains why the defense matrix is still activated. They must have set it up when the facility was quarantined. They weren't trying to keep anyone out. They were trying to keep those things in. Okay, cool, no problem. So we just sneak past the zombies, shut off the power, and grab the parts we need. No big deal. If we shut down the power, then whatever those scientists cooked up in here will be free. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So what's the plan? We need those upgrades. A zombie threat is nothing to scoff at. But if we don't get our cybernetic friend here operating at full capacity soon, the galaxy is doomed. He's right. We can handle a couple of zombies if we have to. Now let's go find that power source. Thank you.